Let's peer into the soul and climb Spirit Mountain. Welcome to SETI Astro. A long time ago, I did image the heart of the hearts. And that does seem to be a, a very popular target. That's Malat 15. But I wanted to uh, shoot the Soul Nebula finally. And now with the imaging newt, the field of view is so much smaller. I really just had to go to the, the center of the bridge between kind of the two lobes and the Soul Nebula to see what was there. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and peer into the center of the Soul here. I did get 51... 15 minute exposures here in hydrogen the hydrogen was was really cool uh i've been calling this thing spirit mountain it looks like there's a mountaineer right off to the side of it and and hydrogen just just a ton of uh, uh, glorious data in in here no surprise oxygen was the weakest signal i did get 43 15 minute exposures in oxygen just to try to capture what i could and uh, even even down in the bright areas, it's just very diffuse. You can see this stretched pretty hard to, to see all the, the noise there. But there is this really cool uh, reflection region off this bright star right here, which, uh, which does present itself really nicely when we combine everything together. Now, sulfur presented a lot of really sharp detail. So coming into the, the mountain here, you get all this uh, texture running up the side of it and then down into this other H2 region. There's actually a lot of sulfur structure here and you can really kind of see it wisping up and out away from it. So sulfur was really cool. If, if you are doing the Sol Nebula and you're only shooting HOO, I think you're messing up. You really need to take sulfur data. There's a lot of structure in here. Uh, that's really going to sharpen up your image. Removing the stars and stretching, here's all three channels. Hydrogen is pretty diffuse throughout the, the whole region as you expect. Uh, even uh, some of these nice wisps coming in across. Oxygen, there's really two big main lobes here. And one of the, the cool features is uh, this reflection nebula here. And then sulfur, nice and crisp, right along the bridge uh, in the in the Sol Nebula. So that sulfur really adds a lot, and it's even really crisp up on the uh, globule that's that's up over here. Uh, so hydrogen and sulfur, you can see some nice comparison in there. For the stars, I did use my narrowband to RGB star combination tool, and. Some of them are, are really nice deep reds. Some are some really brilliant blues. Uh, this star up here is where that reflection nebula was. So I, I do expect that to be that nice blue. And the star that's actually in that uh, Spirit Mountain is, is a really nice red star that's, that's sitting there. So that is also gonna add a little bit once we get everything combined. I did start with the traditional SHO palette on this one. Um, I thought the sulfur signal was going to be nice and strong. It, you know, really was comparable to oxygen in a lot of those spots. So uh, th this is just the, the raw combination of SHO. It's not like super overpowered by by hydrogen green or anything. So what a what a great starting off point. Uh, the the Sol Nebula here really just screams the the standard Hubble palette e, e, even down in like this with no other processing right it's just um it looks so cool it really does have that that NASA feel with kind of these faint fuzzy things coming off the the mountains here like like the pillars of creation that they did with with Hubble but you know that is a lot of green still so using color masks and uh I pretty much use color masks. I don't use the, the selective color tool too often, but toned down the greens, brought out the reds, uh, tried to bring in some additional contrast throughout the image, and I kind of ended up here for my, my final starless image. These globules are just kind of floating off in space. Uh, really cool to see. There's still all this um, additional kind of wispy 
blowing off structure down there in the sulfur. And then there's another spot way down in the bottom of the image where there's another globule that's kind of just hanging out in free space here too. So there's, there's just a lot of different things to look around and explore. There's these dark shadow fig fingers sticking out over there. And I really thought the structure to the left here, it really does look like shadows being cast down the hillside here. And, and this middle, middle portion there, I've, I've been calling him the Mountaineer. So he's the, he's the guy that's been climbing uh, Spirit Mountain for me in the Soul Nebula. And now screening the stars back in uh, left me with my final image. I think it's just a, a, a gorgeous image. It, it's a really cool, it's just a really cool area of the sky to image. So even if you have a, a longer focal length scope, if you want to try shooting it at F10 or something like that, it may be worth it. it it's it's pretty bright right here in the soul nebula and you may be able to get kind of these these structures and looking at this more down here i i am by new orleans this does look like a, a fleur de lis <laughs> to my mind a little bit too i have updated astrobin with my uh peer into the soul uh, i both have both the starry and starless versions i have all my acquisition details here i, I did notice uh somebody's been adding SETI Astro uh, scripts in the in the software there, so that was kind of cool. I, I added some of them in there too. I have a, a write-up. Uh, I do want to mention next to this globule here, this other one over here is, is not a globule. It, it's a galaxy. Uh, and I, I had to use my what's in my image just to, I was like, what is that thing? And it, no, it, it's actually a galaxy sitting over there. The star that's fueling this, this crazy region here is a peculiar star. So it's chemically, it's chemically weird. So all peculiar stars ha have something weird going on with them. And I have just some other close and crops and, and stuff here on, on Astrobin to view as well. I have my website updated, studyastro.com with the Peer into the Soul Nebula. I do have some closer in crops as well in the write up. And I did make sure that if you click on either of the main images, uh, you should be able to load up and download the, the full resolution of them. Well, I'm wishing you all clear skies as we keep our imaging journey going together here. Please comment, like, and subscribe.